Hello all my crafty people. Today I have another tutorial for those who are looking to make their gifts this year. If you're anything like me as the holidays are approaching, you're broke. Or maybe you just want to get a little creative this year. Either way, I have some last minute cheap gift ideas for those comic collecting friends of yours. I know that some of you are screaming internally at the thought of cutting up perfectly good comic books. Believe me, I would not destroy valuable comics. I got these comics from the 99 cent bin at my local comic book store, but if you're still uncomfortable with that, you can always photocopy your favorite comics and just use that instead. Our first step is going to be selecting the scenes that we want to feature on each coaster. I tend to go for the big panels that take up a lot of space because I like the way they look when they're cut out. If you want to make it more obvious that these are from comic books, you might try cutting between the panels. Once you've selected your favorite scenes, you'll need to cut them out. I'm using a ceramic tile for my base that I picked up at Home Depot for 13 cents a piece. Once you've selected a good scene, place your tile over the section and trace. Repeat for however many coasters you wish to make, whether that's a set of four or a set of six or so on. Once you cut out your shape, you're going to want to see what it looks like on the tile. I like to have a little border around my image, so I'm trimming up my shape a little bit, and this is a really good time to make sure that all of your edges are straight too. Okay, now we're on to Mod Podge. I have a jar of matte finish Mod Podge that I use for basically everything, but any kind that you have or want to get will work just fine. You can use any medium sized paintbrush for application. I'm going to be using this one right here today. And first we're going to be putting a thinnish layer onto the tile. Uh, don't put too much on or it will soften the paper and it's going to get wet and it will break on you, but put enough onto the tile that it will let the paper stick to the tile. Next, we're going to cover the paper with another layer of Mod Podge. This can be thicker than before, but just be sure to smooth out any bubbles or wrinkles before adding the new layer on top. I've noticed as my Mod Podge dried that I did get a couple wrinkles on the edges, so I'm just going to kind of smooth them with my finger very gently not to break the paper. Um, and that will rub some of the Mod Podge off, so I'm just going to add a thin new layer on top of that. And you might not be able to get all the wrinkles, but just as, be as best you can do and it's going to be fine. Wait about 20 minutes or until the Mod Podge has dried clear and add one more layer on the top. Okay, once you've let the second layer dry, we're going to put a clear coat of acrylic spray on the top to waterproof the coasters. Once you've done that, we're going to add a backing so that they don't scratch up your tables. You can use felt, but today I'm going to be using corkboard that I've gotten at Hobby Lobby. This is just the off-brand or Hobby Lobby brand uh, pre-cut 
corkboard backing that I have found there. Um, you don't necessarily have to use this. You can cut your own if you'd like. This was just convenient for me. So I'm just going to hot glue that onto the back and it should be dry in a couple seconds and just repeat for all of your coasters. Now we're finished. These are the completed product. You can stack them up and wrap them in a bow and give them to any of your comic book friends that you think might like this. Uh, if you liked this tutorial today, please like or subscribe and thank you for watching.